Hey there guys, this is uh, The Real Blunt, and I'm coming with you with a very exciting tutorial. We're going to be creating a really simple effect. Uh, we're going to make out this uh, kind of ghostly image in the uh, blurred background, and it kind of looks like old film a little bit. So, um, for starters, what we want to do, obviously, is we want to go into the file and open up a brand new image to start off this thing. So we're just going to go into open and uh, look for our desired photo to put into this project. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of pictures of me. <laughs> I kind of love myself, so can't blame myself. Anyway, so I'm going to open this up, and um, the first thing we want to do is um, go into um, image, uh, and uh, yeah, we want to desaturate this. So after uh, we desaturate, um, I like doing this. I like going over to image adjustments, putting auto contrast, auto color, and auto levels. The color part is not really needed since the black, the image is already black and white. So next up, what we want to do, we want to go over to our layers palette, and we want to get rid of the locked layer. So the easiest way to doing this is just duplicating the layer by dragging it down to that little icon beside the garbage bin, just like that. Sorry, I created this by accident, and um, we want to take the locked layer and just we can just delete it. We don't need it anymore. Just drag it over to the uh, garbage bin. Okay, perfect. So the next step, what you want to do is you want to isolate um, the person in your picture, and I'm doing this um, with the magnetic lasso tool, which is personally the easiest tool to use. Um, you know, you can take your time and uh, make this a little more perfect, but for time's sake, I'm just going to do this real fast. So I'm just going to go around as quick as I can and um, outline the body. And we're almost done, and the effect itself is we're pretty much halfway there. It's not a very hard or long effect to achieve. Just finishing up at the bottom. And now what we want to do, we want to add in that blur effect. Um, to do so, since we selected our body, we want to inverse that and select everything but our body. So we do that by hitting Control shift i on your keyboard. But first, I want to just fix up the little patches I left out. Um, to fix your mask, all you have to do is press Shift and just select one of the um, selection tools, and just kind of, you know, fill it back in if you missed out a big chunk. But the rest isn't all too important since we're going to be blurring the image anyways. So now we want to go back. Um, well, we're not going to go into image this time, so we're going to go into filters after we've uh, went back to our um, other selection. And uh, we want to put in motion blur. Uh, the default gives you a 90 degree angle, but I like putting it down to 0 degrees. 90 degrees will do vertical, and zeros will do um, horizontal displacement of the pixels. So I think I'm going to use about 150 pixels of blur. Um, that looked nice to me because of my image. Um, I just wanted to have you know some blurriness and be able to see parts of the uh, background as well. Now the next step, uh, we want to go back into our selection of our person, which is me, and uh, we want to add in that final effect to give it some color. So we're just going to go over to Image, Adjustments, and we're going to put a curve adjustment. And once we open up our curves adjustment, um, we're just going to play with all the different channels, RGB, red, green, and blue. And we're just going to make slight S-shaped curves just like this, which will colorize our selection. And once we have put all the different colors, we're pretty much done. And this is the exact same effect that I had before. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, stay tuned for new tutorials. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks!